we'll be going over while loops. What are while loops used for? Sometimes we want to repeat the execution of certain commands until a condition is reached. And in order to do this, we can utilize while loops. So I'm going to open up my while loop demo script. So here's a script that utilizes a while loop. So the first part of the script, x is equal to 0, we're creating an initial condition. The second part of every while loop is the condition that's to be tested. In this case, the condition that's being tested is whether or not x is less than 10. If x is less than 10, then we'll process the rest of the loop. So what we have here is, if x is less than 10, we'll display the value of x. And then, so this displaying the value of x is the third part of a while loop, which is the command to execute if the condition is true. And then the fourth part of a while loop is updating the condition. Otherwise, your while loop will continue to do the same thing forever and you'll end up with an infinite loop, which may not be desirable. So in this case, we'll add 1 to x every single time the loop processes. So why don't we run this loop to see what happens. So I'll type while loop demo. So as you notice, we have x is equal to 0, and then we display the values of x all the way from 0 to 9. And why does it stop at 9? Well, once x is at 9, it updates to x is equal to 10 because 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. And once x is equal to 10, it's no longer less than 10, so the while loop terminates. So if we bring up our script again, we can see that first x is set to 0. Then, as it loops through, we display the values of x all the way until they hit 9. And then x becomes x equal to 9 plus 1 equals 10, and it no longer satisfies the while loop, and we break out of it. So there's another aspect of while loops, which is the fact that you can choose to terminate a while loop before it reaches the condition that you're testing for. <coughs> so I have a demo here for breaks. So this while loop asks the user to input a positive value. And as long as it inputs a positive value, it tells the user the positive value that he or she inputs. Once the value inputted is no longer positive, the loop breaks. So we can do this with an if condition. So while one, so basically while true, which is always going to happen. So this would be an infinite loop if there were no break. However, x is set to the input that the user puts in. And if x is less than or equal to zero, then we display to the user that they've entered a non-positive value, and then the break terminates the loop and exits the loop. Otherwise, the loop continues forever. So why don't we run that and see how it works. Break demo. I'm sorry, there's a extra bracket there. So we run this break demo. So we enter a positive value. So let's say we enter 9. And it tells us that we've entered 9. And if we enter 8, it tells us we've entered 8. And if we enter 78, it tells us we've entered 78. But if we enter something like negative 9, it'll tell us you have entered a non-positive value. And now notice that the loop is not here anymore. It's not active. And we can do like other calculations like 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. And we're no longer in the loop. Similarly to break, there's also a continue. So if you want to have something passed over in a while loop, for an example, this while loop is very similar to the while loop demo originally. However, in this case, we want to display x from 0 to 9. However, we don't want to display x when it's equal to 5. So the way that we can do that is we create an if command. If x is equal to 5, then x is equal to x plus 1. So we still update the initial condition. However, we say continue, and this just continues, it resets the loop without processing the other commands within the loop. So it basically reiterates the loop. However, it doesn't execute the command that it usually does if the condition is true. So even though x is less than 10, 
it's not going to display x for x equal to 5. So if we run this, we can see that it displays all values of x from 0 to 9 except for 5. So that was pretty much a 